for years now, Charles Drew University, a historically black institution here in Southern California, has worked jointly with UCLA to train medical students, but now it's preparing for its inaugural class of its very own full-fledged med school. I spoke with several students about fixing the racial disparity in health care. I welcome you to this historic event, to the opening of a brand new medical school. How do you define opportunity? The day like I got my acceptance letter, it was just right, congratulations, and I fell out in the floor because I've been working so many years for this. At Charles Drew University in Willowbrook, opportunity is defined by an open door for students who have dreamed of becoming doctors who now have that chance. It just feels like a dream come true because I knew since I was younger that I wanted to be a physician. And Selim Bawanyu is on her way. She's part of the inaugural class of CDU's very own Doctor of Medicine degree program. It's the first and only one of its kind in the area and one of only four med schools at a historically black college and university. I'm very intentional about bridging the gap between underserved communities, specifically black and brown folks and the medical field and adding to the representation. We are a model for this nation. You lit up when I asked about your students. Yes. Why? Um, they, they're just amazing. Dr. Deborah Prothro stith is their dean and fearless leader. For years, CDU partnered with UCLA to train doctors. Now, the school is doing it all on its own. They bring to the table a wealth of not just passion, but knowledge. And I think they are going to make uh, some of the best doctors this country has ever had. Latino and black people make up 45% of California's population, but only 10% of doctors. Because of that, the school picked 60 students, the majority of whom are people of color. And the people that we picked had personal experience with discrimination, medical racism, poverty and injustice, and were resilient and thrived in their environment. You kind of feel more so connected to someone who you can see yourself as in their shoes almost. And um, I really feel that when you can have that trust factor, it almost takes patient care to another level. It's an opportunity the class of 2027 will not take lightly to make their mark not only in healthcare, but in their community. Imagine the little boy or little girl walking down the street, seeing us walking around, seeing our students. They'll be able to see what they can be. That's really important. There was history that was made, and there is history that is going to be made by us. Now, this is truly a groundbreaking moment for the university. More than half of the students in the inaugural class are women. They also had nearly 1,000 applicants for this year alone, and they're sorting through 2,500 applicants so far for next year. It all goes back to the mission of this school. Charles Drew University was developed after the Watts riots in the 60s to fix the health care disparity in that area.